位建传师，各位学生，大家好，阿弥。咱要开班之前，学习红点传输的名，直接传播咱基础中数的总领导点传师黄世坤，总领导点传师已经伫正月十号，拜一。透早五点外钟，讲过圆满。伊时阵说，离开咱多吉天顶，交接归根复命，归根复命的。伊时阵说，多去伊个源头去向上天老母娘报告说，伊的啊，伊个任务已经完成了。To all Taoists, before we start our lecture for tonight, I was hereby instructed by our Tian Chuan Shi. To announce here that on Monday, January 10, 2022, at 5 a.m., uh, the general general leader of Ji Chu Zhong Su, General Leader Master Huang Si Kun, has returned to the site of our Heavenly Mother to report to our Heavenly Mother that his mission on Earth has been completed. Alan, to the Chinese, ah, Kaipan de Ji Jiang, he came. 请大家站起来，静静的啊，站一分钟，头壳压压，啊，默哀一分钟。Before we begin, I would like to take this opportunity to ask everyone to please stand up and stand quietly, bow their head for a minute, and observe a minute of silence. I repeat, Tage Chate, the silence is over. Please take your seat. Wang Zhong Lin Dao Tian Chuan Shi, he is Xiang Jin Lat Tui Dong Do Bu, Dai Nia Ji Chu Zhong Su, Yi Ji Te Ling Do, Jing Te Dai Dong E Jing Xin, Chuan Chen Yong Xu, So U E Ji Chu Zhong Su E Hio Ha, Dan Do Di Dao Tuan Che, Yi Xin Ding Dong Tuan Ge Yi Xin, 继续国卡罗德的推荐服务，啊，服务，以报答咱的天恩师德，甲咱黄总领导、电传师的慈悲待观念。General Leader Master Huang Si Kun has devoted his life to propagating the Tao, led Ji Chu Zhong Su to inherit and sustain the spirit of collective leadership as a whole. We must unite as one. Continue to work harder to propagate the Tao and repay for the grace of our Almighty God and the virtues of our teachers and the compassionate leadership of our General Leader Master Huang. So, like, 陈月云讲师将《心经》最后一篇讲好一完，咱即阵就来邀请咱的蔡殿传师慈悲，甲咱讲《心经》最后一篇，嘛请些传传助理翻译。Now we will continue with the sixth chapter of the Heart Sutra, but because our lecturer Chen Yuan is not feeling so well, our compassionate Tsai Tian Chuan Shi will let Will help lecturer Chen to complete the last chapter of the Heart Sutra. Now, let us invite Chai Tian Chuan Shi to discuss the last chapter of the Heart Sutra. And may we also ask our son Sun Tzu Li for the translation. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Tian Hong Chi Tian. Thank you, Zhou Su Hong Zhu. 
，感谢师尊师表大德。感谢罗定南甲各位点头师师弟栽培，啊，互相合，今仔日有这个机会，啊，今日只啊，空中甲各位同事做伙来学习。Thank you to heaven's grace and to teacher's virtue. Thank you to our Sir Tun and Sir Mu, and also thank you to our、uh, Grand Senior Master and also the Masters for giving us tonight this chance to、uh, continue the discussion of the Heart Sutra. 啊，那么小学今仔日要讲的是吼，圣经的第诶第六块迄个白话简介吼。啊，伊这个白话简介吼，伊的教材的吼，当中是啊，单元本讲书所写的。So tonight we will continue to discuss the last portion of the lecture about the Heart Sutra, and the Heart Sutra that we are. Having、uh, the lecture of the Heart Sutra that we are having、uh, now is written by our Chen Jiang Si. But you know, the course is written by Chen Su so prepared. Ah, we are one person who do it. Ah, so we are one person who has no different kind of method. So it may be that the teacher is going to do this piece of work. Ah, it is done. Ah, it is more difficult to do it. Ah, so we are one person who has no different kind of method. So、uh, we can、uh, we know that everybody, each person has their own style of writing, and、uh, and also they have own their own ways of delivering the lectures. So、uh, since tonight、uh, I am taking the place of our Chen Jiang Si, I hope that、uh, if ever I say anything that is not so fluent, or、uh, I'm asking for everybody's pardon. Ah, now let's come on, let's look at this. Ah, today, today. 刚才头几页的迄、那个哦，好、呃、影片吼、哦，咱知影吼、哦，咱呃，对第一讲甲第五讲，第五讲的时阵，爱记，感觉一无所得故。啊、uh, ，so um we we can see now the first part, first page of our、uh, PowerPoint. That、uh, during the last lecture we have already reached the part which says that、uh, mentions "ye who so the ku." This "ye who so the ku" we did go. This the this the Xin Jing, ha, get so ha. This is ha, is Xin Jing. Lai min ha, ah, li so, from the one side. Other side, this the two side, two side, do ha, li long jin jiao. Ah, the third side, the ten do ha zai. So from the part of、uh, the. From the part of Yu Sutra Ku until the end of the Heart Sutra is the portion where there are more words、uh, in the Sutra compared to the previous parts. Ah, this this the li zui ka li jiao le ho. Kishi ka dou li lai min bi so gong de mi jia bo jun dai guan he. But uh, but uh, no matter the words are many or there are lesser words. In the in the portion of the Heart Sutra, it will not affect the meaning of the Heart Sutra. You know, 正经所讲的，拢是咧破这个窟，这个迄个真真正的空真空。那么，对这个才开始咧，就就咧讲咧，这个妙有真空，妙有这个妙妙有这个阶段。Because in the last few lectures we were talking about the breaking through of the absolute void, and from now we are beginning to enter to the stage and discussion of the absolute reality. 那么，一句古来名说啊，一无所得故，菩提萨萨埵，一法尼波罗，哎，波罗蜜多故，心无挂碍。好，这个是啊，咱白话的念法。啊，那要用咱普通话来念的，就讲“以无所得故，菩提萨埵依般若波罗蜜多故，心无挂碍”。那么，啊、嗯，这都无需要用英文翻译，因为刚才念出来了，你啊吼。那么，咱来归顺，前面叫做“无所得”嘞，就是讲，这个“无所得”表示讲无一个法会用得到。啊，那怎样？咱众生本来就有一个吼，甲佛祖共款的迄个佛性，这个佛性是清净光明，万万无欠缺
，所以无需要向外口去求法，啊嘛无啥物痛苦还是快乐，好还是歹，增加还是减少，本来就无一项物件通得着。啊，咱个本性嘛三层，吼、哦，因因为无啥物通得着，则变做。做辅助，吼、哦，无虾米物件直接在做辅助，所以这叫做，吼、哦，一佛行，一佛胜。So it 无所得故 means nothing is obtainable, and because of the、uh, of the of because of the knowledge that nothing is obtainable, it is the reason that、uh, not even one single dharma is obtainable. The Bodhisattva, through the cultivation of the Prajna Paramita, has a mind that is free from all hindrances, because、um, because nothing is obtainable, none of any dharma is attainable. The Buddha nature of the sentient beings is pure and bright, perfect and without damage, and so there is no need to seek dharma anywhere without suffering, happiness, good. Or bad, increase or decrease, there is nothing to obtain, because of the realization that nothing is obtainable. Thus, Buddhahood is obtained, is attained. And this is, uh, 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 this is the so-called the one Buddha Yana. Oh, sorry, ha. Ah, just 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 你无所得的原因吼，以跟故就是因为怎么样，所以怎么样。所以无所得故，以 is 啊 means because， and 故 means it is the reason。So it is a because there nothing is attainable being the reason。啊，所以啊，意思就是讲吼，菩萨就是因为知影讲无无所得的这个原因，所以菩萨呢就叫这个。妙智慧由轮回的这个此案，吼、哦，这个疾病，吼、哦，轮回疾病，咱这边，吼、哦，度过中流的苦海，啊，度过迄、那个，吼、哦，哦，人间到迄个离天这个苦海，来，大家接盘的迄、那个，迄、那个对话，就是离天的修行的方法。Since the Bodhisattva's cultivation method. Follows the wondrous wisdom from the shore of samsara to cross the sea of suffering in the middle stream and to reach the other shore of nirvana, that is the supreme heaven. Yeah, this kind of healing method, eh, 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 can help us with our mind to be free. Following this kind of cultivation, it can free our inner mind of any hindrances. 那么挂碍是虾米遐呢？挂碍是把咱扎着、把咱冻着、把咱阻了的意思。So what is hindrances? <coughs> Hindrance means to cover, to obstruct, or to thwart all the afflictions that can obscure our pure and bright Buddha nature. 所有一切会得把咱，所有一切会扎着咱的。清净光明的佛性，诶，阻挡甲阻了，咱诶，量知量明，良心诶，发挥，诶，我烦恼咧，拢总著是挂碍。So everything that can obstruct our affliction, that、uh, all that can that can obscure our pure and bright Buddha nature. And all that is obstructing and hindering the exertion of our innate, innate intelligence and ability are all considered as hindrances. So 
，啊，做了就咱量比量力嘅发挥。So hindrances are like the screens or the grills or any blockages. Qua qua means hinder. It means the barrier of vexation. They are caused by having the physical body, because the physical body needs to live and survive. Thus, all kinds of greed, hatred, ignorance, pursuits of fame, wealth, and power are then generated. These kinds of vexation can obstruct our pure and bright Buddha nature. Gai itu si sorting jong, si suing orang, oh fashion, so jual, itu si in, ini dia ke, pergi suing ke, cara, pilu se, si sing te, tadi in wan, acin to, lop to, polo bit, ting ting, di san sing ke, cikgu ni, jong ai, cikgu ni, kau ni jong ai macam si, dia ni ni. 清净光明的呼吸，佮做了咱的量知量力的发挥。Hinder I or hin is the barrier of the known. It is arising from regarding what seems to be real as real, which means that the cultivator is thwarted by the aspect of the characteristics of things. That is, the cultivator are so attached to the method of the past cultivations. Such as the four noble truths, the twelve links of dependent origination, the eightfold path, the six paramitas. These attachments cause obstacles to emerge, and it will also cover our pure and bright Buddha nature, as well as preventing our innate intelligence and abilities to exert properly. Oh,这一步做点这个吼，哦，这几年嘞，刚刚清楚咱阿伯，然后机会读到这个太上清净经的，来对到一句古啦吼，而且啊，虽名得道，讲虽名得到，十五所得，实在是无得到什么啊，未
The fear of the uh, modern era people can roughly be divided into three general types. Number one is the fear of the future, a fear or terror that is produced due to the pressure of life and due to the ruthless competition in the modern industrial and commercial society. One has to face the fear or terror of being eliminated or being unemployed. The number two is the fear of life and death. Because of the ignorance and the lack of understanding of the where that of where our life will take us after death, it produces a fear or terror of the idea of death. The number three is the fear of karmic deaths. By seeing that there are many divinity altars and shrines that exist nowadays, the purpose of this are either to eliminate our sinful karmic debts or to solve the consequences of sinful karma. That is why when people see all these uh, altars existing, people will have the fear of, uh, of the karmic debts. <laughs> Our lives are full of dreadful vexation, but as long as we uh, can remove these hindrances, the dreadful thoughts will naturally disappear also. So um, having transcended all illusions, the vernacular way of saying this sentence is to always stay away from delusion and inversion and illusory dreams. The so called reverse or upside down is to go against the right path and the right principle such as taking impermanence as the constant and taking the wrong as the right or correct, which, is, which are all illusional thoughts that is in contrary to the real truth. There are two types of reverse or being upside down. One is a, uh, a reverse of the sentient being, and the number two is the uh, reverse of the world.
未歇，吼，这烦恼未歇。打起做作业，吼，流浪在生死苦海里做。Number one is the reverse of sentient beings. That is, all sentient beings do not know the truth and are deceived by afflictions. So they create karma and wander in the sea of suffering of life and death. 第二呢，这界颠倒就是讲，众生伊佛性未失去咯，啊，生活伫个虚幻的世界，唔知影唔知影是苦，哦，生活伫个虚幻的世界，唔知影是苦，嘛无想讲要离开这个苦海。Number two is the world in reverse. That is, sentient beings lost their human, their Buddha nature, and live in an in the world of illusion without realizing that they are already suffering, and they never thought of getting out from the sea of suffering. Life's illusion, human's illusion, illusion. 会对你分做两种，一种就是无名大梦，一种就是梦中做梦。And there are two types of dreams in life. One is the great dream of ignorance. Number two is dreaming within a dream. 头一个无名大梦呢，就是无明白，唔知影，人生就亲像迄个金刚经里面所说，如梦幻泡影。啊，咱搁一种伫个现象界，明明讲现象界是真实的，甲迄个泡影、甲迄个梦幻，当作是当作是真实。Number one, the great dream of ignorance. When one cannot understand the reality of life, it is as what the Diamond Sutra has said, because all phenomena are like a dream, an illusion, a bubble, or a shadow. And being attached to the idea that all material phenomena is reality. The second, the dream of doing nothing. Oh, let me understand. There is a saying called "life is like a dream, dream is like life." That is what we are doing. We are doing nothing. 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 Number two is dreaming within a dream. This is making of all kinds of dream within a dream-like life. Hello, Jason. 总共，总挂顶悬即个颠倒甲梦想，拢是因为吼，不管颠倒也好，梦想也好，拢是因为咱无明的烦恼所引起的。所以咱会当知影讲，人的烦恼咧，完全是因为无妙智慧在在产生的，啊，就是对即个梦想产生的。咱那个即个吼。呃，梦想啦，迄种即款嘞，呃，无名，甲搭，呃，甲甲甲伊甲伊连连起来时阵嘞，啊，就是颠倒梦想啊，啊，关注在菩萨，因为伊无挂解的原因嘞，所以伊无恐怖，伊嘛离开这个颠倒梦想，离开个真实。To sum up, the above mentioned reverses and dreams. Are all based on afflictions of ignorance. It can be seen that the afflictions of human beings are completely caused by the lack of the mystic wisdom. That is, they are born from dreams. Connecting all these situations will result to a distorted dream-like illusion, because the because the mind and heart of the Buddhist Kuan Tzu Tsai is already free of all these hindrances. Thus, there is no more fear or terror. And he can transcend all the illusions. Ah, 过来，究竟涅槃，究竟涅槃的地位，就是讲究竟，呃，天我这个境界。The vernacular of the ultimate nirvana 
the Bodhisattva finally transcends Nirvana. This is the state of ultimate enlightenment. Jiu Jing, uh, ultimate, is to describe the supreme state or the meaning of the completeness of things. When Buddha manifests the supreme truth, it is called the supreme Dharmakaya. Uh, Dharmakaya is the highest conception of Buddha as the absolute. And if Mahayana Mapa, Mahapari Nirvana embodies the ultimate goal of Buddhism, it is called the ultimate Nirvana. The soul called Nirvana originally referred to the state of the fire being blown out, and later it was used to denote the state of extinguishing the burning of the fire of fixation and achieving the state of enlightenment. This is the realm of the enlightenment that transcends life and death, and it is the ultimate goal of Buddhism. Since Nipan is a Sanskrit word, it, uh, it may mean nirvana and it may also mean perfect rest, which means the perfection of all virtues and the elimination of all evils. Just like what our uh, Lucy Zuli has mentioned, that our Huang Zhongling Tao Tian Chuan Si has already completed all his missions here on earth. Sanse so San Si Zhu Fo means all the Buddhas of the past, present, and the future. The three lives prefer, refers to the past lives, the present life, and the future lives. That is to include all the Buddhas in the world of all directions from the past up to the future.
So Anotara Samyak Sambodhi does realize an itself perfect enlightenment. In the vernacular, it means the highest, correct, and complete or universal knowledge or awareness, the perfect wisdom of a Buddha, that is omniscience. A means nothing. A means nothing. So A means nothing. Nuo Tuo Luo or Nutara means higher or the highest. San Miao means Sama is completely enlightened. San Puti Sambudi is the wisdom or the omniscience of Buddha. This time, the statement is that all the wisdom of the Buddha is the wisdom of the Buddha. The wisdom of the Buddha is the wisdom of the Buddha. It's not just that the Buddha is going to be able to do this to the Buddha. 涅盘的相关的成果，都、就是三世不做，所谓不做的嘛是同款爱照这款的方法去行，才好多得到证明到，吼无上正等正觉，这个佛果上的这个地位。This paragraph is to explain all the wisdom and virtues of Buddha. Prajna is the unique way of Dharma Paraya. Not only the Bodhisattva should rely on this to achieve the highest achievement of Nirvana, but also all the past, present, and future Buddha should also rely on this in order to achieve the perfect universal wisdom of a Buddha. Chibu 我个会做个情况讲是新旧，还是旧旧，还是别旧，还是真难。这是一种真实无妄的意思。好，但是咧，伊嘛是未做你用言语来说明的特殊的能力的秘密语、秘密话。Uh, so, thus know that the perfection of wisdom is the great holy mantra. It is the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the incomparable, incomparable mantra that removes all sufferings. The so-called mantra or to, also known as the divine mantra, forbidden mantra, the secret mantra, word of truth, which means authentic and true, and refers to the secret language with special abilities that cannot be explained using words. So, uh, most of the time, the so in the sutras are not explained through words. 做这个英文就是 mantra 哈，无会无会改归水，就是个代念嘛，你啊，你啊。So the so the so in the uh in the sutras are not explained, but we should just follow and um pronounce it and recite it. 啊，有时阵咱看迄个吼，迄个呃，咱来去迄个呃佛教的迄个庙寺内面念大悲咒，迄个大悲咒一般是属于一种咒。So when we go to the uh, Buddhist temples, they are also um, reciting the mantras, and these mantras 
we just have to follow how they recite it because most of the words in the mantra cannot be found and explained even through dictionaries. So this mantra refers to the secret languages with special abilities. These are just syllables that we should just follow how it is pronounced because they cannot be explained using ordinary words. So Kimune so in the Heart Sutra, there are two portions. The first portion are the portions that we can explain and discuss uh, through lectures, but there are portions like this mantra are words that we cannot uh, explain or discuss it because they are holy words. Just like our five holy words, they are not to be uh, uh, written or to be uh, said because they have these, their secret powers. I'm <laughs> So mantra is called Dharami in Sanskrit and translated into Chinese, it means entirely in control in order to support everything, which means that it can bless all good dharma and cover up all evil dharmas. And the Heart Sutra is referred to as the Great Holy Mantra, Sita Sanzo. The saints and sages have an efficient mystic knowledge which can break and eliminate all delusion. It is the prajna which has great efficient mystic knowledge and can get rid of the evil spirits of life and death so that the recipient can obtain great liberation and achieve unimaginable merits. And so it is said that it is the great holy mantra. It means that this mantra is the mantra of the true words of brightness. With the power of the righteousness and brightness, it can break through all darkness, confusion, and attachments in this world. 
，是无上就，哈、啊，无上就是讲，至高无人国平，国较悬的，会正正正正个有果。这个这个咒语哦，是有果真言，是超越万有法门，是法呢，是妙智慧慧，将法中讲。诶、欸，好，这个修持者，然后念这个、这个心经的人诶，会当念印加持无量的法门，所以说是无上就。So, uh, it also says that the Heart Sutra is the unsurpassed mantra. Unsurpassed is the it is the supreme and the perfect universal wisdom or the omniscience of a Buddha. This mantra is the truth of the state of Buddhist Buddhahood. It is beyond all the Dharma methods. It consists. It considers the prajna, mystic wisdom, as the king of Dharma, and it enables the recipient or the person who knows how to recite this sutra, uh, for him to lead the blessings of the immeasurable and unlimited Dharma method. So it is called the unsurpassed mat mantra. 啊，这个吼，圣经内面这个般若波罗蜜多咒啊，是无定定咒，吼，这个就是无定定，就是无其他一个法的定义，甲这个咒同款，会当吼这个念修持者，念这个般若波罗蜜多，这这个修持者嘞，会当得到无上的无人平，搁较贵的正正正正觉的时阵嘞，觉行圆满。无欠无存，所以说是无定定住。So、uh, it is、uh, also the incomparable mantra. There is no other method comparable to this mantra. It leads the recipient or the person who recites the mantra to attain the supreme perfection of universal wisdom and the completion of the procedure or discipline of the attainment of enlightenment. Unlocking and unsurpassed. That is why it is called the incomparable mantra. 过来说，是能除一切苦，真实不虚。啊，这个能除一切苦嘞，就是把迄头前一句哈，度一切苦厄，甲拿过来说，好，我继续来说，讲哦，这正经有影会当对念这个经嘞，了解这个经，修行这个经嘞，会当比。一切的苦是真实不虚的，吼、哦，这个赞美这个啊，波若波罗蜜多的，哦，这个妙智慧的光明，咱会当正正去把迄个呃苦难的去除掉，并不是虚妄的话，是正确的话。So it can remove all sufferings, and it is true and not just an illusion. This part is embracing the function of the prajna paramita, that it can really eliminate the sea of suffering, and that it is not deceive. It is not a deceiving statement. Gosat pani polo bito jiu, jesat juat kete kete polo kete polo sin kete po de sapo o. 呃，国语念的“不说般若波罗蜜多咒，即说咒曰：揭谛，揭谛，波罗揭谛，波罗僧揭谛，菩提萨婆诃。”哈，这个哈、哦，佛教设计的宗教嘞，在方法内底嘞，有显甲有密这两种。显嘞，就是特别的说明。哦，修行的人会当产生智慧来了解，会当灭烦恼，烦恼障。那密的，就是密密的真言，也就是咒语。咒语在烦恼的时阵呢，通常无解烦恼。持咒的人呢，也无必要去知影咒的意思。你干那诚心来念，来念，来念，吼、哦，自然就甲佛祖有迄个交。交感，这叫做做密，秘密的密。So、uh, it says that therefore proclaim the mantra, gati gati, para gati, para samgati, and buddhisaba. 
The teachings of the Holy Buddha includes the explicit and the exoteric teaching. Explicit is the straightforward explanation which enables the cultivator to generate wisdom and to understand and to eliminate the vexation barrier. While the secret portion, it is the truth of the secret, and that is the mantra. Mantras are usually not translated. The person holding the mantra does not need to really know the meaning of the mantra. As long as they hold on to it sincerely, they will naturally communicate with the Buddha. And it, this is the secret. So explicit is the portion that we can see. It is the scripture. It generates the wisdom uh, and and solution, and it can eliminate vexation barrier in order for us to attain wisdom. So the exoteric or the secret portion of the sutra is the mantra. Holding on to it sincerely, we can then communicate with the Buddha and can attain concentration. Uh, 哦,這這兩個是無分別的,是不可思議的修行方法。So the portion that says um gate gate para gate para samgate and bodhisattva is the esoteric or the secret part of the Hat Sutra, while the previous parts was the explicit part of the sutra, and this portion of the sutra um uh, that, that mentions gati gati paragati is the esoteric part. There is no distinction or discrimination. This is an, an imaginable method of cultivation. The text and the meaning of the Buddhist scriptures are obvious, are the obvious part. It can be declared, it can be said, deduced, and can also be used to spread the Dharma, and it can also benefit uh, hum, uh, sentient beings' life. The so portion of the mantra of the holy of the Buddhist scripture is the secret part or esoteric part. The secret is to keep the truth in the heart and concentrate on it so as not to express which may lead to scattered willpower. 
and it may thus lead to the pursuit of external desires and the ultimately it lost the essence of Buddha nature in our hearts. Yeah, yeah. So, I want to say, for that, the punking a get away, he do not. He does say, Porter, follow me, do so. For then, John Shimmy, Liam, John Shimmy, she so. Therefore, at the end of this sutra, Burisava wants to say, said, proclaim. The Prajna Paramita Mantra. This is in order for us to concentrate on reciting the Sutra. This is also the same as when we are concentrating on our mysterious gate, and the same also as when we are looking at our heavenly lamp in the temple that we must concentrate only in our mind, and from which we can generate wisdom. <laughs> So it should be spoken saying, then Bodhisattva Kwan Tzu Tsai said the Prajna Paramita Mantra. Oh, the Paramita Mantra follow the two children, get there, get there. Get there, get there. Get going, my dear. Okay, get there. Funny, it's all right. Book out there, book out there. So uh, the, the most simple explanation of Gati Gati is unobtainable, unobtainable. Paragate means complete enlightenment and reaching the other shore. Para Samgate, the Sangha refers to the sentient beings which means the perfection of all sentient beings. Bodhisattva means consummate the perfect universal wisdom, which means attaining Buddhahood. Kuye so unobtainable, unobtainable, because it is unobtainable, thus the realization that it is already complete or perfect. Because of the reason that nothing is obtainable, the other shore on the other side of the sea is rich. Not only can one achieve the perfection of the unobtainable, but also should make all sentient beings achieve the perfection through the understanding of the unobtainable in order to attain enlightenment for self and others, then the highest realm of Buddhahood can then be attained.
Bodhisattva Kuan Tzu Tsai finally condensed all the true meanings of the Heart Sutra into this mantra, which is called the Prajna Paramitas Mantra. And the content of this mantra is Gate Gate Para Gate Para Sam Gate Bodhisattva. Kuan Tzu Tsai Posa Shushi the intention of Bodhisattva Kuan Tzu Tsai is to let those who cultivated the Buddha's Dharma to let go of the Dharmas, including the five precepts, the ten good deeds, the eightfold path, the four noble truths, the twelve links of dependent origination, and the six paramitas. If one can give up all the wisdom with no distinction or discrimination between wisdom and ignorance, as long as we sincerely accept and hold on to this mantra, we will easily be able to enter into the true void with the mysterious existence. <laughs> And we can just use faith to restore back to our original true self. The explanation of the Heart Sutra will end here. And also the explanation of the portion which says gati gati paragati, we should also end it here. Whether we understand it or not, we have to end the, the explanation at this point. Because of, as we have mentioned, the portion, the secret portion of the mantra needs no explanation or discussion. But still, we have to want to uh, remind everybody that although we already know the process and the realms of the state for attaining Buddha, Buddhahood, but just as we have already attained enlightenment on the day that we received Tao. <laughs> So but we have to uh, we have to be reminded that all the causes and conditions accumulated over the many generations and the kalpas or the catastrophes of our life has not yet been completed, and our habitual bad habits have not been completely eliminated. Therefore. We must cultivate well during this lifetime. We must fulfill our vows and correct our faults. We should get rid of our temper and be down to earth and be practical and start to cultivate the five precepts, the 10 good deeds, 
and then learn and understand the Four Noble Truths, cultivate the Eightfold Path, the Twelve Links of Dependent Origination, and the Six Paramitas. But in the end, we must let go of all these dharmas and enter into the cultivation of the one Buddhayana or the one vehicle, and then we can attain Buddhahood. So, uh, uh, above were my explanations of the of lecture of our Chen Jiangsi. So, after uh, listening to the six lectures, we must have conclusion of, of what we have learned. So so uh, we have we now know that the Heart Sutra is the conversation between Quan Zi Zai Pusa and Se Li Zi. And the one who uh, translated the Heart Sutra is uh, the Xuan Zhang Fa Si from the Tang Dynasty. And and uh, the Heart Sutra is a um, lecture discussed during a holy seminar in the Ming San Mountain. And the focal points of the Heart Sutra is to observe, to cultivate, to contemplate uh, the Paramita and to avoid, to uh, end the absolute void. Quan means observation. It is observation or self-reflection. So simply said, it is uh, when we can look and find our own faults, we can go to heaven. And if we keep on finding the faults of other people, we are going to hell. Number two is sing, uh, or sing sen cultivation, or sing sen is deep cultivation using the five precepts and the ten good deeds and the four noble truths, the eightfold path, and the six parameters. So number three is Kong or absolute void. We should know that our true nature has no beginning or no ending, or we can say no birth or no death. And it is it has no defilement and no purity, no increasing and nor decreasing. Uh, 
next is two is a parameter. It is that we have to cultivate in order to get rid of all the sufferings. So for the cultivator, to, in order to reach to the other shore of the Supreme Heaven, we have to let go of all the cultivation methods or all the dharmas in order that we can reach the other shore. So we should turn everything back to zero, just like as we, if uh, when we are driving a car, we should put it on neutral and to return to the absolute void. When there is no more attain, attachment, then one can enter and settle down peacefully. So, uh, in the Heart Sutra, there are 260 words, but using these few words, it has already mentioned all the cultivation methods that we should follow. So, since we already know the meaning of the Heart Sutra, in the future, let us all take time to read and to recite the Heart Sutra and to know the meaning of the Heart Sutra. And because Heart Sutra is the most complete of all the sutras of uh, Buddhism, even though that it is a sutra that has the least words in it. So let us all learn from it and all recite it together. So uh, the, our lecture, our six lecture, lectures of the Heart Sutra were all prepared by our lecturer Chen. And I have to thank our Tian Tian, Zhou Tian Chuan Si and Tian Tian Chuan Si for giving me the chance tonight to complete the discussion of the Heart Sutra. And thank you everyone for listening tonight. Wishing everybody with uh, good health and happiness and that everything that we wish for will be granted. Let us all meet together next week. Um, may everybody be filled with Dharma joy. Okay, one and.